Okay, we've been looking at different kinds of line gestures, and there's so many different kinds of lines and strokes that you can do with a sumi brush. And uh, I want you to learn some of the simple ones to begin with. And one of them is simple because it's called the simplified line. So it means that we reduce the contours and just keep them uh, where we see a complex line, we reduce it to something simpler. So I'm going to show, try to show you what I mean. So for example, I'm taking the angle of the head. I'm just reducing it to a very basic line. Same thing with the arm. And you'll notice how quickly I move. And so when I'm reducing them, if the lines aren't straight, they're close to straight or just only slightly curved. They're not undulating so much as just reduced to a sort of common denominator. So for example, the hair, I will just reduce it to three or four very simple strokes. Same thing with the hand up here. The back, two strokes. The buttock, two strokes. The thigh. So I'm simplifying. And this also gets you used to the idea of making a stroke rather than painting or just moving back and forth. Okay, now I'm going to do another pose. And I'm going to try this one. I'm not going to talk so much. I'm just going to concentrate and try to do it a little quicker. And it forces you to see the general forms, which is really the value of this besides learning how to use the brush. And you'll notice the speed of every move is more or less as fast as I can go. This keeps you loose and it forces you to develop the control. Now, I didn't start with, you don't necessarily start with the control, but you develop the control just by doing the exercise. Now, you'll notice that the thickness of these, these are sort of medium thickness. I could try to do it very light and thin, but I could also try to do one that's thicker. I'm going to do that for the last one. So we just need one more new pose. And I'm going to press down more and get a thicker kind of effect. It's a totally different feeling. And I have to go a little slower. The brush won't even move as fast, really, without a lot of effort. And of course, it will give a very different look, too. And when you work with the contours really thick like this, it gives them, obviously, a lot more emphasis and strength. So as you can see, how and where you hold the brush has a great influence on the end result. Now, one thing we can do just to add a little contrast, and this will bring out the whole picture a little bit, is create some contrast with the hair tone, with the side of the brush. So there we have simplified line gesture strokes.